All right, in 5.2b, we're going to look at calculator activities. Basically, we're practicing using our calculator. So you want to make sure you check your mode. You want to make sure if it's a degree problem, you use degree mode, right? If it's a radian problem, you put it in radian mode. That's why the degree symbol is so important, okay? So important as you do this. So instead of flipping back and forth on my calculator on the video, I'm just going to type, I'm just going to write in here what it is I actually typed in the calculator if it's not already obvious. Okay, so like on the first one, the directions say given an angle, that's going to be important. If they give us the angle on these nine right here, round to five decimal places. Okay, so keep that in mind. So find sine of 56 degrees. Well, that's obviously degree mode, right? And I can type in the sine of 56 just the way it looks. And when I do, I get 0 0.82904. Cosine of negative 12 degrees, you can type that in straight up just the way it looks, and you get 0.97815. Tangent of 3.6, so notice this is radian, so I would have to switch this to radian mode. So let's just do degree mode first. Now, secant of 92.3 degrees. Now, in the previous video, we did talk about this. Remember, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So it's either 1 over the cosine of 92.3 degrees in my calculator, or I can write it as cosine of 92.3 to the negative 1 power. Either way in the calculator it will work, but again, degree mode. So try it in your calculator. I get, ne I get negative 24.91790. Jumping over to the next degree problem, cotangent. This is 1 over tangent, right? So 1 over the tangent of negative 15.39, or the inverse question, or the other way to input it is fine. Try it in a calculator. I get negative 3.63295. Let's jump over. My next degree one is this cosecant. So that would be the 1 over the sine of 63.2 degrees, right? Put that in. I get 1.12034. So now I go back and put it in radian mode. So I'm going to do these in red for radian. So if it's in radian mode, tangent 3.6, you could put it in just the way it looks. So it's 0.49347. Secant is inverse cosine, right? So I can do cosine of 7.4 to the negative 1. Or I can write it as a fraction either way. I get 2.28026. Coming over here to tangent of this 5.96 radians, that's the inverse of tangent. Put that in, and I get negative 2.98571. Cosecant is the inverse of sine, negative 1, and I get 1.0. 1186. Okay, so just be very aware what's in degree mode and what's in radian mode. Okay, now the next section, the wording is different. I want to point this out to you. Up here, it said we were given an angle, right? Every trick function has attached to an angle. Now, in the next section, it says find the angle. Find the angle in both degrees and radians for each trig value, round it to five decimals. Okay. So we're finding an angle this time. They don't give us the angle, so we have to find it. So before I jump into the trig stuff, let's look at this, just how we're going to solve this. Well, it's very, very much like solving a basic algebra equation, okay? What did we have to do? We have to isolate x, right? So we would end up dividing by 7, and we get x equals 5, right? It's the same idea. We need to isolate the theta, okay? And the way we're going to do that is taking the inverse. So what you do to one side, we have to do to the other side, right? And what happens is these two over here will cancel each other out, and it'll just be theta equals the inverse sine of 0.70712. Now, I want to point out something here. Look at the inverse. The inverse is on the sine here. On the ones up here, the inverse was on the whole function, okay? That's important because in your calculator, if you use the keystrokes, second, and hit sign, you will get the sign of negative 1. It'll open a parenthesis, and 0.70712 is what I want to put in there. 
Now, notice it doesn't matter degree or radian mode because we're going to have to do both. Okay, let me show you on the calculator. Okay, so if I'm doing the inverse sine, I would hit second and sine, and there's that inverse notation I told you about, 0 0.70, so, I'm sorry, <laughs> 0 0.70712, there we go. Delete, delete. There it is. Okay, there it is. There is our angle. Now, this is in what mode? Well, I don't know. What mode is my calculator in? Well, this is the radian version of it. So I would write this down as the radian, and then I have to go back and change the mode. So again, I would do this, all your questions in radians first, then go back, change the mode, and do degrees, or start with degrees and then do the radians. Okay, up to you. But that's the way you're going to enter it either way, no matter which mode you're in. Okay, so the same thing on this one. It'd be the cosine, inverse cosine of negative 0.93641, right? I would put that in my calculator. And in radian mode, I come up with 2.78305 radians. I'm going to jump down here. Tangent, inverse tangent, it's going to be of negative 2.39, right? I can put that in just the way it looks. And in radian mode, I end up with negative 1.1745, two radians. Remember to put RAD next to radians, okay? Now on these first three, uh, I'll come back and do degrees in a moment, but I'm just showing you what we're doing in this, all right? On cotangent, remember cotangent is a reciprocal property, right? We're gonna have to reciprocate this to make it work. So I'm gonna show you the algebra and then show you the shortcut, okay? So if this is true, we have to remember that this is one over the tangent of beta equals 2.36 over one, right? Kind of as a proportion or ratio, however you wanna do it. So if I want to get If I cross multiplied at 2.36 tangent of beta equals one, right? Well, I don't want that. I want to get tangent of beta by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2.36. So now we're just basically at the reciprocal of what we just did, right? Now I can do inverse tangent, though, to get this. So beta would be the inverse tangent of 1 over 2.36. All right, there's not a negative here. I don't know what that's from. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be putting in my calculator right here. This is what it's gonna look like in my calculator because it's the reciprocal, you just do that, all right? And again, you don't have to do all these steps, but you do need to show work on these, all right? Do show me what you're putting in your calculator so I can help you. So to save time in radian mode, what I got when I did this was 0 0.40079 radians. Now, I do want to show you on this one, secant. Secant of alpha, this is alpha, by the way. You can't do alpha, or you can't do secant, right? It's a, it's a reciprocal function of cosine. So what I can do is rewrite it as the cosine of alpha is 1 over 0.9472. Zero. Very similar to what we just did with tangent, right? I can put that in my calculator just like that. But there may not be an answer. Let me show you. So if I put an inverse cosine of 1 over 0 0.94720, notice what happens. I get no real answer. That means there's no answer. That's all it is. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means there are no answer. And that is a possibility. The inverse cosine doesn't exist. All right? So don't let that trip you up because there is places on the unit circle where it's asking us to divide by 0 and that doesn't work, right? 
So don't let it trip you up. And I will say this, if you get no real answer in radian mode, you're gonna get no real answer in degree mode. So you can just stop there, okay? So let's look at the next one, cosecant. What would I do here? I would put in inverse sine of one over 1.20622. All right, that's what I need to put in my calculator. When I did it in radian mode, I got 0.97738. All right, continuing on, we keep on going with these. Cotangent, what would that look like? Well, that would mean I need to do the inverse tangent of one over 5.61278, right? Inverse tangent of that, and that would give me It gives me a theta of 1.76315 radians. Secant, well, that's the inverse of cosine, right? Over, or of 1 over negative 12.65924. On decimals, right? When I do that, I get a radian measure of 1.64987 radians. Cosecant with the inverse sine, one over four, would give me a radian measure of 0.25268 radians. And then cotangent, it's the inverse of tangent, right? So I get a radian measure of 0 0.19740. Now I would go back and take my calculator put things in degree mode, and then repeat the process, okay? So I'm gonna encourage you to do that. I'm gonna come back and put in blue the degree answers I got. So check your work, and if we have issues, we can deal with those in the class. All right, good luck. Okay, so now I put in all my answers for degrees and radians. Now, don't just do these blindly. I want you to think for a moment. Remember what a radian is? One, if we Way back when we did conversions, we said that one radian is approximately 60 degrees, right? So these should make a little bit of sense if you compare them. So right here, theta is 2.7. So if two, it, two radians would be about 120, almost three radians. So that makes some sense that 159 degrees makes sense, right? Look at this one, the next one down. Point four of a radian. Well, that's not even a whole radian. It has to be less than 60 degrees. Does it make sense that 22 degrees would be 0.4 radian? Yeah, 22.96, that's almost 23. Yeah, that makes a little sense. Again, look at the next one. Right here. If it's 0.977 of a radian, looks like I forgot my unit, didn't I? I need to put radian on that, sorry. Of a radian, it means almost 60 degrees. So look, does it work? Yes, it works. It's almost 60 degrees. So all that to say, don't forget logic in this. It should match up. Things should make sense as you put in your degree and radian answers. Okay? Let me know what questions you have, and we'll see you in class.